All right, you guys, welcome back to class. Uh, this hour is a speaking hour, um, and our topic uh, is going to be childhood. Okay, so I have a list of questions that we're going to go through uh, talking about our our own childhoods, Okay, things that happened, things that we enjoyed doing, things that we hated doing. Okay, and uh, yes, so I have uh, I have my, my list here. I'll uh, uh, give this to you right now. All right, as well as here in the chat box. Okay, so I have it both in uh, the Google chat as well as in the uh, Verbling chat so you guys can check them out. Okay, and let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, Juan Marcos, how are you? Fine, Chad, and you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, and uh, Juan Marcos, have you been in my class before? Yes. Uh, I, well, I... I already changed the picture. I'm the one from Guatemala City. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Yeah, because I've had, I think I've had two, and, and I keep getting you guys confused. There's either, there's a Jose Marcos and a uh, Juan Marcos, the, oh. you, obviously, that, that, that has been coming in the class, and I keep getting you guys mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, tell me, how's, uh, how's everything going for you? Uh, well, I think I'm fine. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, in this moment, I want a Coke. <laughs> 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 really. So yeah. after the class, I'm going to get a Coke. <laughs> there you go. There you yeah. go. It's a very delicious drink. My favorite oh, by far. Oh, really? Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I love uh, Coke Zero is my drink. I really enjoy drinking Coke Zero. Uh, but yes. Very, very cool. Welcome, uh, uh, welcome back to class. Good to have you here. All right. Thank how you. about uh, Bali? How are you? Hey, Chad. I'm doing well. You? I'm doing good as well. Thank you for asking. How was your How was your weekend? My weekend very relaxing. Uh -huh. I call with uh, just beach, uh, hammock, doing nothing, being lazy, <laughs> hanging out in the beach in the hammock. There you go. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Uh, mine was mine was lazy as well. Uh, we got to well, we celebrated my daughter's birthday, and then it was lazy afterwards. So Ooh. Sunday was Sunday was great. I got to uh, I got to hang out and watch TV. We went to the park. You know, ha had some good times. I called my family back in the United States, and we skyped uh, skyped for a while. Things like that. So yeah. yeah, it was it was pretty relaxing. Very nice. good. How old yeah. is she now? Um, my daughter is seven now. Wait, yeah, she's seven. And my Ooh. son's birthday is actually today. He turns nine. Party! Yeah. yeah. So, um, so yes, he wants he wants to have some pizza. So we're gonna have pizza tonight, and then his cake, and then um, we got. Um, um, he already opened one of his gifts. We got him three three gifts. We got him a watch. He wanted a, a watch. A. Uh, um, one of the digital clock watches. He likes watches. I don't like watches. I don't like to have. It took me a while to get used to my wedding ring. I don't like to have things on my uh, my body, like necklaces or anything like that. I don't wear hats. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It took me forever to get used to wearing a headset too. I just uh, I can't handle having other things on me. So yeah, he he likes watches. So we got him a watch, and then and then a car uh, that he nice. wanted to get. And uh, and then a book. He wanted a book of uh, of animals. So we got him an encyclopedia that has all, all these. Uh, uh, it's like an animal encyclopedia. So he should uh, be really excited. So. By the way, don't talk yeah. so much about uh, birthday party because I could go like Guerrero. You mean what is that? Go Guerrero, eh? Voy a gorrear fiesta ajena. There you go. Cool. Well, welcome, welcome back, and welcome back to nice class. To Good to have you here. Yeah. All right. And Alpha, how are you, Alpha? Alpha, is your microphone working okay? All right. Well, when you when you uh, want to talk, go ahead and jump in. All right. Uh, Nura, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. Very good. All right, so we may have a, a smaller class this hour, uh, but that uh, that's okay. Um, our uh, our link to what we're checking out is uh, is right here. 
Okay, I put it in the uh, chat box. Okay, when you open it up, this is what you're going to see. Okay, here we are. Well, yeah, now with the, the tickets, there are just a few students in classes. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's a little little different, but that's a, that's okay. All right, so yes, we have. Uh, um, yes, but you, you, what's go that? Ahead, go ahead, sorry. Yeah. So um, yeah. So let's. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, childhood uh, today. Okay, and uh, and uh, so I've got a list of questions, and we're going to roll through and answer as many as we can. All right, and so let's uh, let's go ahead and start over on the right hand side with Nura. Yes, and teacher. Nura, let's see here. Okay, um, this question: um, When you were a child, uh, did you play outside? And if yeah. you did, what did you like to play outside? Yeah, I played outside with my friends, and um, I'd like to play football. Oh, really? So you enjoyed playing football with your friends? Yeah, I can great. play it very well. Cool. That's great. You're you're yeah. you're probably much better than I am, because I I have not <laughs> played uh, football um, in in a very long time. <laughs> wow, that's great. Great. All right. Let's see. How about uh, Juan? Yes, sir. Okay, Juan. Let's see. All right. So when when you were younger, uh, what was your favorite subject in school and why? Well, it could be a little a little bit weird, but I really liked math. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe because I have, uh, or I have, or I have uh, ability uh, or skills for numbers. Great. Yeah, I loved math. I I could do math all day long. Still, even today, uh, uh, for fun, uh, I work. Uh, I do math problems, uh, but they're like um, like word problems and things like that. Uh, I have a book of of math quizzes and things like that. That, that I do. It's crazy, but yeah, I, I love math. Math is great. Yes. So yeah, it's not it's not that strange because I'm I'm the same way. <laughs> okay, so you are weird or we are normal? I don't uh, know. Uh, we are normal to us, but I think we're probably weird to everybody else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. How about uh, body? And body. Let's see what we have here. Um. Okay, Bobby. Um, how old were you when you learned to ride a bike or a bicycle? Well, uh, I had a bicycle when I was like uh, three, four, but with the the the, the things the, to help to don't fall. Training yeah. training wheels are what they called training wheels. Yes, training wheels. Then uh, a friend of mine uh, almost had an had an accident with the with the bike. So my mom, no more bike, and then I had to learn when I was twelve. Uh -huh. uh, without my mom, uh, and my mom did, my mother didn't know that. So yeah, <laughs> twelve or thirty, something like that. Okay, so twelve, twelve or thirteen. All right, very cool. Uh, let's go to Daniela. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you very much for asking. Um, uh, let's see here now. Uh, we're talking about childhood, Daniela, um, okay. and I'm going through some random questions, okay? So, mm -hmm. do you remember anything about your personality uh, uh, when you were a child? Uh, I, I think I was very sad. <laughs> you were very uh, sad? Yes, I was, I was cried, uh, I used to I used cried uh, very much when I was a child. <laughs> Why I so? Know. Why were you sad? <laughs> I don't know exactly, but um, uh, I'm only child, so uh -huh. uh, I haven't got any brothers and sisters, uh, so I'm, I used to uh, be alone uh, for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I had uh, more friends, so uh, I 
I hadn't a, a good uh, um, impression, a good idea about my childhood. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. That's a that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Okay, so so you you were a little sad because you didn't have any brothers and sisters and didn't have a lot of friends to play with. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you for sharing. Let's go to um, uh, Juan Sepulveda. Right. All right. Let's yeah, see here. Whoops. Let's go to this one. All right. So, as a child. Okay. So, were you a good student as a child? Uh, did you enjoy going to school? Uh, not really. <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> I was sleeping all the time. I remember it because I was really lazy, right? Uh huh. So I remember when when a teacher called my mother. My mother, my mother worked next to the next to the to the school, right? Yeah. So my, oh, sorry, my mother was working next to the school, next to the school, and I was sleeping. One time, was I was sleeping on the what is the name of the table when when the when the kids study? Um, like on like in the library? No, nope. maybe the share the share. Uh, okay, so the the desks in the uh, in the classroom. Yes, but okay. Wait a second. Second, this, yeah. The desk. So I was sleeping on the desk, on the desk, uh -huh, right? Yeah. And, and the teacher go and go away, go away outside, go outside of the school, uh -huh. and knock the door to the office of my mom. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. And and my mom with her. Was um, was in the in the classroom, right? Yeah. And my mom and my mom uh, <laughs> take my hair and shave my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really, really, really weird. But anyway. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. No, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So so you weren't uh, you weren't the best student in school. All right, that's that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's go to. Um, I think we started off with Nura. So Nura, let's go. Let's go to you. And uh, okay, how about this here? So Nura, were your parents super protective? Now that means that they uh, they wouldn't let you uh, um, go out uh, with your friends. Okay, and this may be when you were. Uh, um, maybe a child maybe you couldn't go to the park by yourself uh, you couldn't do things by yourself they would always have to be there watching over you were your parents like that or or did they give you a lot of freedom no uh, they were they weren't uh, allowed uh, allowed to me to go by myself with my friends uh, I can I um, I could play with my friends in, uh, close our house okay yeah. All right. Yeah. So they would let you go and play with your friends. See, my parents let me do that too. Uh, I used to leave the house like in the summertime when I did not have school. I would leave the house at like nine in the morning, and I wouldn't come back until about eight o'clock at night. <laughs> and I'd just be playing all day long. It was great. It was good times. Yeah. Uh, but yes, with with my children. Uh, because we live in a, in uh, in another country, and this is mainly because we lived in in Honduras for such a long time, we're really protective, and so we're always looking out for people, you know, seeing if they're going to do crazy things or whatnot. Um, but yeah, uh, here in Costa Rica, it's a little bit safer, and so we're not as as protective. But yeah, we we were for for a long time. Uh, uh, very good. Let's. Can uh, I ask you something? Yes. Yes, uh, is it safe uh, in Costa Rica uh, for children to play at night? Um, depending on where they are playing. Um, uh, here, here it's very interesting because it gets dark at about 5.30. 5.30, mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, okay, around yeah. there. And, and, it, and it gets dark at that time every day. 
So, um, I've seen teenagers, like right out here, like if we were to walk right outside my door here, um, I have a, uh, a park that's out in front of my house. And yeah. usually at about 8, 9 o'clock, something like that, there's still some teenagers hanging out in the park. Um, and stuff, and it's and it's pretty pretty safe. Um, uh, now I would say probably past ten or eleven o'clock at night, it may it may get a little creepy. Um, but we don't have a lot of drug drug dealers or anything like that that live here uh, close to the house. So I, I really like the area that we're in. It's it's uh, pretty pretty safe here. Um, but I know nice. other areas uh, can be more dangerous. So like in the capital city here, it's not really recommended to go uh, go out and, and play and hang out at night, uh, especially in the streets. So it just depends. Yeah, What's the meaning? Yeah, thank you for asking, for answering. Sure, What's no the problem. Meaning, pardon me. What's the meaning of creepy? You said something about um, creepy? Creepy, uh, creepy means that uh, it's kind of scary. Okay, you you like kind of have to watch over your shoulders a little bit, you know, kind of just watching out for for other people. It, you kind of get the, a feeling that that you're being watched. Okay. Okay. Thank so that's you. a that's a creepy a creepy feeling. Okay. So that that would be it. Um, when I was in Guatemala, um, depending on the city I was in, in um, yes. uh, Esquipulas, where I would mainly go, it was relatively safe there, and we could go out at night. Um, but Guatemala, Guatemala City, not so much. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. still, it's very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, once it got dark, you know, especially if you're if you're American, once it got dark, we would we would stay inside. Yes. So yeah, <laughs> very good. All right, let's uh, let's go to you, Juan Marcos. Uh, your question here. All right. Um, okay. So, um, when uh, when you were a child, what did you want to grow up to be? Um, uh, such as if I want to be an engineer or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Did you have so? For example, I wanted to be a pilot. That was um, my that was my goal, but I got my eyes got really bad. I wear contacts now, um, uh -huh. but when I was younger. They told me if you wear glasses, you cannot be a pilot, and so I was like, "Oh, my dreams were devastated because I really wanted to be a pilot." And it wasn't until later on in life when they're like, "Well, you you can be a pilot now if you know with certain other requirements, um, and wear glasses and be just fine, or wear contacts." So anyway, so that was that was my dream. What was your dream when you were a child? What did you want to be? Well, when I was like six or seven years old. I wanted to be a firefighter mm -hmm. or a police officer. Okay. But it was a dream because you know when you are a child, you are not thinking that really you can get born with fire, yeah. or you, or yeah, or you can uh, uh, get a a shot of uh, a thief or something like mm -hmm. that. So I'm not. Or a firefighter. Mm -hmm. So you wanted to be a police officer or a or, or a fire fighter fighter um, firefighter, and that was before you're like you were thinking about well, these are the things that possibly could happen, right? If you were um, if you were in those type of jobs, that they they would be dangerous, right? Yeah, so I think uh, all of us at one point we uh, we we think of doing something that's you know amazing and and really cool you know out there, uh, but yeah, uh, so cool. So what what did you end up doing? What's your job now, Juan Marcos? Juan Marcos, what what is your job now? Okay, uh, let's uh, let's go to Bobby. Yep. And Bobby, uh, what kind of food did you like? Okay, when you were when you were younger. Um. Well, uh, I always wanted to have for lunch ice cream. I love the ice cream. <laughs> so I, ice I, cream. You know what? I, I used to say to my grandmother. 
Grandma, I want ice cream, and she uh, she used to go and bring me <laughs> ice cream. Then I I didn't have the lunch. And why do you do you give the the ice cream to him after <laughs> lunch after lunch? So. That's awesome. Very good. So ice cream, great. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's go to um, Daniela. Yes. Yeah. All right, Daniela. Um, yeah. What was your What was your favorite toy when you were a child? What's my favorite? Yeah. What was your favorite toy when you were ah, a child? toy. Oh, Barbie, of course. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, she's so smiled. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Barbie. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yes, my, my sisters, my sisters love to play with the Barbie dolls as well, um, but uh, um, I would usually take them, okay, my sister, I think she had two, she had two Barbie dolls, and I destroyed both of them, <laughs> I, I would like take their hair and I would cut their hair off and pull their legs off, everything like that, yeah, it was, it was bad, it was typical, very bad typical, news. Typical brother behavior. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Very good. Let's go to uh, Juan Sepulveda. Yeah. All right. Looks like the other Juan took off. Okay. He may have had uh, problems with his uh, connection. So, um, all right. So, what, uh, what was your worst punishment as a child? Mm. Uh, I remember one. <clears throat> one of them, right? And... Uh, my mom, my mom don't, didn't didn't let me go outside to play. Right. Okay, so she didn't let you go outside to play uh, for how many days? One month. Whoa! You know why? Uh, why? <laughs> when I uh, I remember when when I when I was. Uh, Five years old. Uh huh. Five years old. Four, four, four or five years old. When a little, um, I cut the the hair of the teacher. It was a he was a woman. She and she I was a woman, and you cut her hair. Yeah, I, I cut the the hair of the of the, of the teacher with a scissors. Oh right? no. <laughs> yeah, it was really funny because the the hair well was a really bad thing, you know. But sure. The the woman has a really had a a really long hair, right? Mm -hmm. Really, really long. And and I always see the the hair when and she loves to to shake his head and show and like she like she she really liked. She really enjoyed to, to show his hair. So I was a little curious about to call it. I don't know. I mean, I wish uh, I was really crazy when I was a little child. Little uh huh. Kid. Yeah. So I got <laughs> Wow. <laughs> really bad. And so, and so you were grounded? Angry. And so you were grounded for a month. So we call that when uh, when you can't go out to, to play. Okay, there's actually two uh, two restricted words for it. Um, in my family, we called it being restricted. Okay, so we were placed on restriction. Okay, restriction. Or <clears throat> the other word for it. Whoops. Okay, the other word for it grounded all right so um, some families called it uh, being grounded okay others said uh, that you got uh, you're restricted so um, I think the longest I ever had was one week you know and it was because I was playing with fire I had fire and tennis balls and um, so, so the tennis balls right and I would dip them in gasoline okay um, I so we, I took the lawnmower and I emptied the lawnmower of its gasoline. Okay, that was the one thing that was bad. So I used the gasoline for this, and I would dip the tennis balls in gasoline, and I'd light them on fire and throw them. 
All right, and so and they would roll down the street, and uh, they looked really cool. <laughs> the uh, the you police terrible. officer. You were terrible. <laughs> I know. I was. I was really terrible. Uh, that deserve a year. <laughs> Well, the uh, the uh, police officer didn't think it was that cool looking, and uh, so I had like uh, I I was like on my my fourth tennis ball, right? Because uh, I just went to uh, the school and I found a whole bunch of old tennis balls. I was like, yeah, these would be great to light on fire, and uh, so I did that and I would throw them and they would bounce and they would stay lit on fire for a while, right? And anyway, so I got I got caught by the cops, but I was only like twelve, so uh, so my parents weren't. Uh, uh, that bad on me, and plus, I I go crazy when I can't uh, get out and do something. I go absolutely crazy. So, uh, I think it was uh, more for more for my mother. Um, yeah. So I had we call that uh, being grounded. No, I spelled it wrong. I forgot the U. So yes, it's grounded. Okay, being grounded. So that that means that you cannot leave uh, either your room or the house. Okay. Uh, we also call that we also call that being restricted. Okay. Um, my my mother used the word restricted. Uh, other other people uh, used um, uh, used the word grounded. Okay. Very good. So uh, let's see here. Uh, let's go to uh, now. I believe your name is Ennis. Is that correct, or is it Enns? No, Gurut uh, Hashmi. Okay, Gurut. And, and where are you from? I'm from Algeria. Algeria, fabulous. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have for you. All right. So, um, all right. Where did you grow up? Okay. Did you move frequently? If so, why? I grew up uh, in uh, south of Algeria, mm -hmm. uh, exactly in Adrar. Uh, before I didn't uh, move uh, a lot of. Uh, I do. I didn't. Uh, uh, traveled a lot, but uh, you mean move uh, frequently means uh, traveled? Uh, no, or moving uh, moving means to uh, move to a different house. Ah, I move a uh, different house if uh, my parent uh, told me to 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 uh, send a message or uh, how to say. Or uh, have a for purpose or okay. Um, so when when we when we use the word to move, all right, that that means that you move from one place where you're living to another house to live. Okay. So yes. for example, when I was a child, um, I moved three times. I moved from with my parents. We moved from California to Arizona, and then we stayed there for about uh, seven years. And then when I was eight, we moved from uh, from uh, a house there in Arizona to another house. And then we stayed there until I was about 19. And uh, then we moved to uh, to Utah. And by that time, I was living in Argentina. And so, Sir, sorry, yes. I, the, the, the first uh, time I didn't understand uh, exactly uh, what you mean by move. That's okay. That's but, okay. Uh, but now I understand exactly. Uh, uh -huh. We uh, I didn't uh, we didn't uh, move uh, a lot. Uh, okay. We stay in the same uh, place. From okay. My chai, chai, chai hood, chai, chai hood uh, is uh, in the same place. Okay, so you stayed in the same place for your for your childhood. Great, yes. great, awesome. And my my poor children, um, I, I we've moved uh, uh, many times uh, all over the place, and it's mainly my fault. Because I I like to move around, <laughs> I like to see new places and go go other places, and so I hope they don't uh, um, hate me when I'm uh, when they're older. I'm like, why did we move so much? Like because I love it. <laughs> Very good. How, how, many, how many children do you have? I, I've uh, I have two children. I have two children, and uh, together we've lived in five different countries. Oh my god. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> but uh, teacher, uh, it's uh, hard to, to leave uh, your uh, neighborhood and uh, your family and. Uh... Um, now nowadays, well, see, I'm a very independent person, 
and I always was. Uh, when, right when I graduated from high school, I moved out of my house. I, and it wasn't because I didn't like my parents. I loved my parents very much. Um, but I just wanted to go and explore. And so that's the type of person I am. I'm also the type of person that if, uh, if I see you uh, in the supermarket or whatever, I'll strike up a conversation. So when I, when I came here to Costa Rica, I came here first before my family came here, and I didn't know anybody. All right. And uh, and so for the first little bit before my job started up, I would uh, go around and I would talk to people and I would meet people. Some people think that's crazy. Um, but other, I think that, uh, that's just normal for me. So I would walk around and I would walk probably about 15 kilometers, maybe about 20 kilometers in between there, 15 to 20 kilometers a day. And I would investigate the city. I would talk to people, figure out where things were at, uh, things like that. That's, you know, that's, but that's how I am. Uh, and it's, and it's, uh, it's a, and it's an interesting, uh, and it's an interesting way to live. My wife, she's not like that. She likes to move and be with me in these different places, but, um, it's hard for her when she gets to a new place to go and, and uh, and meet new people and things like that. And I'm really outgoing and I'll go talk to whoever. It doesn't really matter. So um, for me, um, I, I, I make connections with people. I, I do, but I can break those connections and go and make new connections with other people. Uh, but then I still keep in contact through Skype and phone calls and stuff like that or email. Um, but yeah, I, I, I live a little bit uh, different uh, of life. Uh, very good. Let's uh, let's go to Ali here. He's been waiting patiently. How you doing, Ali? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So your your question is, uh, who took care of you when you were little? Okay. Was it your parents, your grandparents, a nanny, a daycare center? Okay. Uh, who who took care of you? Um, I. I don't understand what exactly do you mean. You, uh, how little? Um, uh, when you were a child, uh, four, five, six, seven. I mean, into My your mother. teenage years. My mother. Okay, My mother so you, so your mother. Yes. Great. Yes, yeah. My father, My father uh -huh. worked uh, in Iraq in, from 1980 to 1985. He uh, and. Uh, he, he left when I was two years old and came back when I was seven years old. Ah, okay. So, and yeah. it, so, it sounds like he uh, he moved out of there. No, no, right? no, no. Uh, he, Well, he no. moved he moved away from Iraq and came back with you. Uh, um, uh, when I think maybe three, four years before the Iraq War between no. the United States and. No, 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 no. Uh, 1980. In 1980, mm -hmm. uh, my my father he took a job in Iraq mm -hmm. as a consultant to Saddam Hussein government. And uh, they, th 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 those times, Saddam Hussein wasn't so mad, so crazy. Yes. <laughs> so crazy. Yes. He, he, yes, he was just regular guy, regular mm -hmm. dictator. Yeah. And uh, he treated his people as properly as dictator can so okay uh, actually nobody complains uh, complained in Iraq. yeah and from Soviet Union my father as consultant he took the job and we traveled we, we we went to Iraq and stayed for I think eight months and after that Iran Iraq war started yes. Iraq Iran war yes mm -hmm. it was 1980 gotcha and we all families of uh, Soviet specialists they left the war zone, mm -hmm. and uh, some uh, specialists left as well. But my father and uh, I think about 100 people they uh, left to consult to uh, Saddam Hussein government to build uh, to be to rebuild war zone. Gotcha. During the war and after war. Okay. So yeah, he forced to stay there for five years, and uh, he didn't came, he didn't come back even for uh, vacations and so on for five wow. years. Yeah, and my mother took care of me, and after this those five years, he came back. Mm -hmm. and that's it. There you go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other newcomers here? Mark? How you doing, Mark? Hello? Hi, Mark. Where are you from? I'm from Spain. From Spain. Excellent. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, your question here is, how are you similar to your parents? And how are you different? Hmm. It's, a, it's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I think that I similar that the, the physical aspect, maybe. Okay. So you're, you're similar in the way that you look. Yeah. Okay. And how how are you different? Maybe in the way to to solve the problems or to establish a new way to to solve it. Okay. All right. So uh, maybe in thinking. All right. Yeah. So in the physical appearance, you probably look uh, look like your parents do, right? All right, but yeah. in uh, in solving problems, in the way that you think, and uh, your rationali rationalizations, okay, mm -hmm. or your logic, okay, maybe a little different, uh, or is different because of the times, probably, okay, new technologies and things like that. So, okay, very cool. Thank you. You're all uh, right. Let's, You're all right. <laughs> let's go to. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Let's go to Norbert. How you doing, Norbert? Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm doing good. All right, let's see. Um, so we're talking about childhood this hour. And Norbert, uh, describe the first memory you have of going to school. I think I can't. It was a long time ago. Okay, <laughs> let's see. All right, so how about this one here? Uh, do you think children today eat too much fast food and don't play enough sports or uh, games or play outside? Um, I I don't know the the children today, so because I am not uh, in the in the in an environment where there are a lot of children. But uh, Hungary isn't uh, uh, America, so I think uh, uh, here uh, children uh, don't eat uh, too much fast food. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. I I I don't um, I don't see uh, children on the streets. When I was uh, uh, young, uh, younger, uh, we we always were um, in the streets and uh, we played uh, soccer or mm -hmm. uh, we went to ride a bike. But nowadays, I I can't see children on the on the streets, and I I don't think that uh, there are less children. But maybe they are in front of the computer or something like that. Okay. So, yeah. The second one may be maybe true that they don't play enough sports. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, because they're they're in front of the computer, a body here says the internet and video games. Yeah. All right. And uh, um, w do you think that's a, that's a good thing or or, or a bad thing? Um, I think. Um, it's kind of bad because uh, they not just spend the time in front of the computer, they, they spend too much time. Mm -hmm. So if they would uh, uh, play the play sports in the afternoon and in the evening they would uh, they, they go to, to the internet, that would be okay. So I, I like internet. I, I, I wouldn't uh, uh, I would can't uh, live without internet. I think, but uh, sports also uh, very important. Okay, all right. Yeah, I would I would agree. There's uh, there's uh, pluses and minuses to both, and uh, and using too much of one one thing, uh, even sports. I mean, if you're out all day playing sports and you don't do your school work, okay, or you don't learn about about something different, um, that that but could be a, a bad thing to do as well. It was easier for us when I was um, a child. There wasn't. Uh, I I didn't have um, an internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and nor did I. I had ah. a computer later, but uh, internet was um, after three or four um, years later. I got uh, the computer. Mm -hmm. So and I, uh, I I had a lot of uh, free time, and uh, what could I do? I went um, hang out with my friends.
Yeah. But nowadays uh, it's uh, harder for children because the computer just uh, don't let you go. Yeah. Good, good. So, um, it, it, for, it was funny for me. My, my dad works with computers. And uh, so we've always had computers in our house. But um, he, uh, I, I never, I never, it, it was always, it was always used for work. Okay. And it wasn't until my little brother came along and he started downloading music and stuff like that. Uh, but this was when I was in high school. So I didn't do anything on the internet, literally anything on the internet until I was 21 years old. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I, I got back from, I used it a little bit when I was in Argentina. I, I saw the internet cafes and things like that, but still, even then uh, I didn't have an email address. Okay. And this was 10 years ago, you guys. Okay, so you may be thinking about thinking about that, or going, "Wow, I've I've kind of lived with the internet my whole life." Yeah, so I didn't do anything on internet um, mm -hmm. a, until I was about twenty twenty one years old, right? So everything I did, I played music, I played sports, and I hung out with my friends, right? I didn't have a cell phone, I didn't do any of that. Okay, mm -hmm. I kept it all up here in my head. I had like a hundred telephone numbers memorized, right? <laughs> and I'd go up to the telephone. And like, oh. You know things like that. I, I had it all memorized. It was it was it was really funny because now I can't even tell you you know any of, hardly any of the phone numbers that I had from before. Why? Because I go to my cell phone and they're all right there. But yeah, so it, it, it has positive side and negative side as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So very interesting. Cool. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Nura. Yes, teacher. And. Let's get a question for you. Um, okay, um, what uh, what childhood and not necessarily diseases, but what childhood sicknesses did you have? Oh uh, yeah, I was have a fever when I was young. Um, okay. Because because I didn't take um, serum when I was young in my school. Ah okay, so you got a fever? Yeah, I don't like serum. Um, did you ever have now I'm gonna I don't know what it would be chicken pox and this is what they look like okay so you get um, you get these spots like this uh, this poor little little uh, boy here so you get these spots all over your body okay did you get yeah. chicken pox when you were younger yeah so you, you did get these as well Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I got those, and uh, it's a uh, man. Th that was that was probably the worst thing ever. Okay, I got chicken pox, and then I also used to get uh, just like I I just got this last week laryngitis. It's because I have really yeah. bad sinuses, but I got that a lot. So. What a bummer! I hated being sick when I was younger. The only good thing about being sick was that you did not you didn't have to go to school, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. Let's go to um, Juan Marcos. Are you back? Yes, I'm back. There we go. Let's see here. Um, did you have a nickname uh, when you were younger? I remember. Uh, yes, I do remember that uh, that I have a nickname, but uh, I don't know how to say when the nickname is to to damage you. It's made to ah, to so hurt you. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like a. Uh, it wasn't a nickname. It was like a. Um, it, I, we would still call that a nickname, but it's more of like a teasing nickname. Yes. Okay, so it, it was more, uh, and that word is teasing. Yes, and you know when when you are a child uh, or a teenager, the people could be very, um, very, very mean without without knowing the consequences. Uh, of saying something or or things like that. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it, it, kids kids can definitely be very very mean. So you had you had a nickname, but it wasn't a really good nickname, right? Yes. All right, all right. Um, let's see. Let's go to uh, Bobby. Okay. 
All right, Bobby. Let's see. Okay. Um, were you afraid of anything when you were younger? Uh, well, there was a um, okay. A traditional food here is the the kit. Uh, it's something prepared with kit in this region. And first, I remember that uh, my aunt has had a, a kit on their on their yard, and then I arrive. And I go back crying, saying something like, uh, in Spanish, I said, uh, Yo tene mucho miedo, chivo. Me. <laughs> so you were afraid of, you were afraid of uh, goats? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, uh, and it was a baby goat. Okay. So a kid, a kid, is, uh, we would all, that's, uh, that's referred to as a, a baby goat. Okay. Okay. And, uh, see, my 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 parents, uh, uh, they had a goat when I was younger, and that's how that's where we got our our milk from. We had we had a goat, and uh, we had we had goat milk every day. Uh, but goat uh, goats or baby goats terrified you when you were younger? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Were were you also scared of the dark? The dark. Uh, well, yeah, I think so. But yeah. I had always my grandmother, so <laughs> with me, yeah, it's something like overprotecting me. So sure. Uh, now, yeah, I was afraid of the dark. Was there anybody else when they were younger? Were you guys scared of the dark yeah. as well? And me. No. Yeah. 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 Oh man, I would I would uh, wake up in the middle of the night and I would see things in the window. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd be like, no, no, okay, man. Uh, yeah. There was, oh. there was a time when uh, a chair was, was in, in my room, uh -huh. and I always thought that uh, there are someone. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. And I was, <laughs> yeah. Your mind, your mind does crazy things, especially when you're really tired, and then when it's dark, right? Oh man, it's crazy. <laughs> Very good. All right, let's go to uh, Juan Sepulveda. All right, so Juan, uh, what were your favorite cartoons and TV shows when you were younger? Uh, I can barely hear you. Okay, and I really enjoyed to watch. Um, oh, it was um, a Dexter Laboratory. Okay, so uh, Dexter's Dexter's Laboratory. Okay. And cow and chicken. Cowboy chicken? No, cow and chicken. Oh yes, cow and chicken. That was funny. Really funny. So, right, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed to, to watch this. Okay. Person. All right. Very good. Thank you. Yep. Uh, let's go to Daniela. Yes. All right, Daniela. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, so um, what did you like to do when you were a child? What were your, your favorite hobbies? Oh, um, I'd like very much to uh, sing. Oh, great. Yes. <laughs> yes. Can you sing uh, for us here? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Better no. <laughs> Better for us, no. Um, and I used to, to sing in front of the mirror uh, mm -hmm. every day. Uh, with the radio, with the um, CD, um, or something like that, with the television, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I use uh, I use the the false microphone uh, with the everything. <laughs> yeah, I used to uh, I used to do that as well. In uh, in my in my bedroom, we had a fan. Okay, so we had a fan, and it had a string that would. Come Come down, right? And I would tie. Uh, I would tie. Uh, what did I have? Something. It looked like a microphone, but it wasn't a microphone, right? And so it would be hanging down in the uh, in the in the bedroom, and we'd use that to sing on. And then we would have like like tennis rackets, right? Those would be our guitars, and uh, and we would we would me and my friends we would have this band. Right, and we would uh, we would turn on the radio, and we would listen to like the Scorpions or ACDC, 
right? And also Aerosmith, and we'd play this rock music, and and we'd rock out and play our guitars and stuff like that as we were as we were playing in the bedroom. Yeah, I did that a lot. That was really fun. <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's go to. Uh, let's see who's up next. Um, Ali. Yes. Ali, let's see here. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, what was your what was your favorite game when you were younger? What did what did you like to play, and who did you play with? Oh, it's pretty embarrassing because my favorite game was card playing, playing card. Playing yes. cards. Yes. And I I started pretty uh, young when I was six years old. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I played cards with my cousins, with my friends, and then we played cards uh, till uh, even in university, in school, everywhere. We <laughs> wow. Course, yes. Until some point, we played cards just for playing just for fun, uh -huh. but when we uh, got, uh, when we grew up and uh, we became 16, 17 years old, uh -huh. we played for money. Wow. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> that was my favorite game. <laughs> wow. Wow, yeah. very cool. Do you, uh, do you still play cards now? No. I stopped nope. in my 23 when I saw that because of cards, because of uh, play, gam gambling, uh, one my he wasn't my friend or very good. Uh, I don't know. I, I uh, actually didn't have anything with, to do with him, mm -hmm. but I saw that he got in very huge problems with this. Yeah. Because yeah, of debt, got, owing people money, things like that? Yeah, that was the first one, the first his problem. And the second was that uh, he got into the fight, and this fight is ended uh, with uh, knives, with guns, and so on. Oh, wow. That was, yeah, I mean, that was pretty huge, very non, uh, good looking, all these events. So I just stopped and never took it. Uh, again. There you go. Was, uh, I was 23. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go to um, Garut. Hi, teacher. All right. Let's see. Um, okay. So, uh, what were what were some embarrassing situations when you were a child? I think. Uh, uh, my uh, embarrassing uh, situation when uh, when my parents uh, di didn't let me to play or uh, they stopped me to play. Okay. So because when, when I was a child, uh, I just uh, care about uh, just uh, playing, mm -hmm. nothing else. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you only cared about playing, and uh, would they? Uh, uh, would they um, like say things in front of your friends? Would they say things like that in front of your friends? Like, no, you can't come out and play, and, and maybe scold you, uh, or, or were you just embarrassed because your friends were out doing things and you couldn't go out and hang out with them? I want to uh, all uh, all time. I I care about uh, meeting my friends and uh, play soccer and or uh, something else. Okay. All mm. right. Yeah. So sometimes, sometimes your parents uh, um, don't let you do things, and that's a little embarrassing, right? Yeah. Very good. Okay, thank you. Let's go to uh, Norbert. Mm, yes. All right, Norbert. Let's see what we have. Um, let's see here. Okay, um, this one here for you. Uh, what kind of food did you like when you were younger? Okay, were you a picky eater? Would you only eat certain things? Or were you like me and you would eat anything and everything? 
Uh, wait a minute, I have to find the word. Um, uh, yeah, I was I was very picky when I was young. Okay. For example, I didn't eat um, eggs or, uh, or something like that, and uh, I, I usually uh, stayed uh, for a food that I, I hate it. I don't like it, even if I didn't uh, taste it. Really? <laughs> yeah. And uh, and also, I had a lot of uh, I had bad memories from the past, from the kinder kindergarten. There was a food, uh, and I, I didn't want to eat that, but uh, the teacher won. Uh, um, so for, for, forced forced me to eat, mm -hmm. and uh, after that, in the in the night, I had to go to the hospital because uh, my stomach. Um, I don't know what is that word. Um, Your stomach was hurting. You had uh, maybe yeah. food poisoning. Mm, yeah, and it got bigger. And so, sorry, I, I didn't know that word. But uh, yeah, so from that, uh, I I I I don't like that food. Uh, I I um, I got to um, what is that word? Okay, so I was I was a picky one, but uh, nowadays I I I eat everything. Okay, and uh, what uh, what did you like? What did you like to eat most when you were younger? I don't know. Uh, my memory is very bad. <laughs> it okay. was a long time ago. All right, no problem. Now, um, uh, picky picky means that uh, that you don't eat everything. You only eat certain things. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and so that's what uh, that's what the word uh, the word picky means. It's you're really. Um, you you want you only eat uh, let's say um, you don't like rice okay you don't like rice you don't eat it okay and you and no matter what your parents do you don't eat rice okay um, we had the issue with beans all right and uh, being here in in uh, in Costa Rica or really in Central and South America um, if you don't eat uh, rice and you don't eat beans I mean. What else is there left to eat? I mean, what are you going to eat? And uh, and so yeah, because we have we have rice and we have we have beans almost every meal, uh, tortillas, and then we do a lot of vegetables and things like that as well. Uh, but yeah, um, my my son for a little bit he didn't he didn't want to eat beans, and I was like, come on, man, you know it, they're they're not that bad, they're delicious. So uh, yeah, the, it, uh, it that's that's what picky means. You don't eat certain things. Um, there was only two things that I wouldn't eat when I was younger. Uh, I didn't like fish. Okay, and it's because I tasted shark. Um, so we caught we caught a shark uh, when we were at the ocean one year, and, and I tasted it, and it tasted horrible. So I had in my mind that all fish tasted horrible, uh, which is not true. I eat fish now, and I actually love fish. I prefer fish over over other meats. Um, and then tomatoes. For some reason, I did not like tomatoes. Uh, but I and so I, I don't eat. Uh, uh, I do eat tomatoes now. It depends on what I'm eating it with. Um, but like my daughter, she can get a tomato and she can eat a tomato like an apple. Absolutely crazy. I don't know how she does it, but yeah, she, she loves tomatoes. Uh, but very good. Uh, thank you guys for, for coming to class. It was great having you here, uh, finding, finding out more about you and hearing about your, your childhood. Um, have a, uh, have a great, uh, great day. I'm going to take a break for about two hours and then be back for my afternoon classes. Okay. okay. Thanks guys. Thank we'll see you.